Hey everybody, Patton here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play arcade games on your mini system. The process isn't that complicated, but there's two very important things you need to know. The first is you have to get your games from the MAME 0.78 ROM sets. And the second is to use the MAME 2003 core. When you go looking for ROMs, it's better to look for the entire ROM set instead of individual ROMs. You'll have a better chance at finding ROMs from that ROM set. So once again, MAME 0.78 with MAME 2003. Let's start with a quick recap on how to mod your mini and hack GCE. You want to go to the kernel tab and then go to install repair. Click yes on the next window. Plug your mini system into your PC. Then while holding reset, power on and hack G will do the rest. Once you have a green light in the bottom left corner, you are good to go. The first thing we want to do is go to the modules tab and go to the KMFD mod hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab, choose your version of RetroArch, then click download module. Next go to the KMFD cores tab, and the arcade cores are all right here. Once again you want to use the MAME 2003 core, I prefer Extreme. If you follow these directions while using the Extreme core you should have no problems. So highlight your core, and once again download module. Close out the mod hub, go back to your modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to MAME 2003 and RetroArch, then click OK at the bottom. Once they've been installed, you'll get this done message. To add your games, just highlight and drag them directly into Hackchi. For each game, you'll probably get this window that pops up. Make sure you click Import as Archive. The next window that pops up is asking you to associate the games with a specific core. We're going to close this for now. I'm going to show you how to manually do this. You want to highlight your games, right click, and go to Select Emulation Core. On the next screen, highlight both games again. Click the Show All box in the top right corner. Select MAME 2003 Extreme. And then again at the bottom, MAME 2003 Extreme 0.78. Click Apply, then Close. To grab some box art for these games, highlight them once again. Right click, go to Scrape Selected Games. Because these are arcade games, you have to put in a little more effort, so you have to type the name into the search box. Once you've made your selections, click OK at the bottom. And now your box art and description are filled out automatically. The last step is to hit the Synchronize Selected Games with Mini button at the bottom, or Export to USB if you're using external storage. And you're all set. Remember, if you need help with any of this, you can go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. Let's head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. Alright, so we're looking at the Simpsons arcade game and X-Men. We're going to start out with the Simpsons. The boot up screen is a good sign. So for the Super Nintendo and Nintendo minis, it's easy. You hit select to insert a coin. For the Genesis, you're going to have to alter some controls to get this working right. Also, since you only have two controls for the most part, um, you're going to want to select the two player version of your games. That will give you the ability to select what character to use. If you select the four player version, you're stuck using whatever character is assigned to the one player controller. But the game looks really good and it plays really well. Now for X-Men, there's our boot screen. Looks like we're good to go. Gonna add some quarters. Just like Simpsons, everything is running great. And that's all there is to it. The compatibility with these cores is actually really good if you're playing some of the older games. Don't try anything with 3D graphics in it, for some reason they just won't run on the mini systems. But for a good portion of the older 2D games, they run just fine. That's all I have for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.